Hey friends, Kevin here with this really large refrigerator freezer. Now this can be run on a household current. This can also be run on 12 volt. So let's get this thing out of the box. Let's see how easy or hard it may be to put together. Let's get it up and going and see what it can actually do. It looks like they thought this out pretty well because with the straps off, this top will just lift off. This one is a PT55 model. They also make some smaller ones if you don't need that much capacity and they will work exactly like what I'm going to show you through the rest of this. Now I own two other 12 volt refrigerators and I've camped with people using a lot of different brands. One thing I can tell you that's different with this is this actually has latches built into these lids. Most of them don't. They just closed so this is very secure and these will open up just like this so you have a small side and a side that's a bit larger and the great thing about that being a dual zone is you can have a an entire section for a refrigerator and one section for a freezer and you can actually choose which one of these it's going to be in addition you could just make both sections into a freezer or both into a refrigerator just depends on your size needs at the moment and then it's just a matter of how you set it up on the little display. Way down in the bottom of this section is going to be our 12 volt cord and our instructions. Warranty wise you are three years on the compressor, one year on the lids and controls and all of the other parts. And just a first impression, but this looks like a nice instruction manual. First of all, it is in nice large print, has some diagrams, even has some actual photographs in it to explain things. So these large set powers are going to include the 12 volt adapter. Looks like a really thick gasket around each one of these lids. Okay, so with nothing to really assemble, let's get this thing going. There is only one way to plug this in, so you can't do it wrong. Plug in on the side. I'm going to use this little portable power station to power this. You have your main on off button right here. You hold for two seconds. Off, back on. I really like that they have individual buttons for a lot of these functions because I have used these and I've camped with people with different brands that they have two buttons and they have five features trying to be worked with those two buttons. So this is laid out pretty well. You have your compressor speed either on max or a minimum, which is an eco mode. You have battery protection, which doesn't matter plugged into a power station, but if you were having this plugged into your vehicle, this is to make sure that you can't get your main battery down so low running this all night that you would not be able to start your vehicle the next morning. This temperature right here that it's showing is the temperature inside of each one of these currently. So we can set this up any way that we want to, but I'm going to basically use the right side as a refrigerator, the left side as my freezer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down to where I want it. So let's do 37 on this side. Let's do about 10 degrees on this side. You can also switch this between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm going to leave it on the Fahrenheit setting. So this is the temperature now inside, of course, because it's new and we just plugged it in. This also, when you open this lid, it has a light built into it that will automatically come on. That's nice. You're using one of these, obviously, at night. So we're going to see how long it takes to get this down to temperature. We'll just leave this hooked up to our power station, get this thing down, and I'll be back. Okay, I went for a quick walk. I just came back. It is about 30, 35 minutes later. You can see we're down in the range of the temperature I had this set at on each side. That's pretty much it. Set it and forget it. As long as you have a power source of some type, it's going to then start cycling on a few minutes, off a few minutes, just to keep itself within a couple of degrees one way or another of wherever you had these temperatures set. So positives and negatives and trying to do a fair review, there just aren't a lot of negatives to this. It is pretty much, you can hear it just cut off completely, so it doesn't make a lot of noise. 
Matter of fact, it's quieter than some of the others I've used and been around. Really like those latches, really like this display. Just seems like it's well built. The individual light in each section is nice and that shows me that they didn't cut corners on this thing. And while this is a plastic handle, it is very solid plastic and it does have a metal pin that runs all the way through here. So I don't think durability is going to be an issue in any form. The only real negative I have is that it does not come packaged with the AC adapter. So this is a separate purchase if you want the ability to use this plugged into a regular you know 110 type wall outlet somewhere. One little minor thing I don't know if you can see this but mine actually arrived with what looks like a little dent right here. I think that's going to happen with any of these. The other brand that I bought several years ago that was a monster size like this it came the same way it had a little dent in it somewhere that that just wasn't noticeable. I didn't send it back. I'm not going to return this. But just know if you're buying something that this large and heavy and having it shipped in to you, that there's going to be a chance of maybe having something like this happen to it. I have never had a dual zone version before where I can really set these, each one, exactly the way I want it. So I hope that helps you out in deciding if one of these PT series PT-35, PT-45, or PT-55, like this one, might be the right choice for you.